Accidents involving construction equipment have been increasing rapidly over the past three years. Excavator accidents make up a majority of the accidents, most of them leading to serious accidents. Excavator-related accidents include getting stuck, rollovers, collisions, and falling. Let's take a look at the basic items and inspection methods for excavators. First, let's take a look at the definition of an excavator and excavator types. An excavator is construction equipment used to excavate soil or rocks. It consists of a rotating upper platform and a bottom portion with a driving mechanism. Excavators are categorized into wheel types or crawler types. Next, here are the main structure and safety devices. An excavator primarily consists of a boom which connects the arm to the upper portion of the excavator. An arm installed between the boom and the bucket and used to perform the excavating motion. A bucket installed on the arm to excavate soil or sand. Cylinders for moving the boom, arm and the bucket and crawlers for moving the excavator. Main safety devices include a cabin safety lever that prevents unintentional operation when the operator is getting in or out of the cabin. A coupler safety pin for preventing the bucket or other parts from falling. A hook safety latch that prevents ropes from being disengaged when lifting small materials. A rear view camera and rear safety bars for preventing collisions or workers from getting stuck behind the excavator. Next, here are the pre-operation inspections. Excavators are inspected periodically once a year for wheel types and once every three years for crawler types, after initial registration according to the Construction Equipment Management Act. The operator must possess an excavator operator's license. When the excavator is brought into the site, the construction equipment work plan, construction equipment registration, excavator operator's license, insurance card, and other necessary documents must be reviewed. Next, inspection method using standard safety checklist chart. Before inspecting the excavator, the inspector must wear the necessary personal protective equipment and must check for any hazards in the surrounding area. An excavator must be inspected on a flat and firm ground. With the exception of operational status checks, all inspections must be performed while the engine is turned off. First, inspection method for cabin safety lever is as follows. The inspector must activate the safety lever and make sure that neither the boom, arm, nor the bucket are moving. If the safety lever is removed, it may result in unintended operations during work. Next, the rear view camera inspection method is as follows. The inspector must make sure that the monitor is functioning properly and that the installation and angle of the camera on the rear of the excavator are appropriate. If the monitor's visibility is not sufficient, the operator will not be able to check the rear for other workers. Next, steering brakes and seatbelt inspection methods are as follows. Make sure that the steering wheel and brakes are functioning properly. The inspector must also make sure that the operator is wearing his seatbelt and that the seatbelt buckle is secured firmly. Not wearing a seatbelt threatens the operator's safety in the case of a collision or rollover. Next, inspection methods for hydraulics and cylinder are as follows. Check the hydraulic devices, connectors, hose sheets, and cylinder leaks. Leaks in hydraulic connections may cause failure of cylinder functions. Next, inspection method for turntable is as follows. Inspect the welding of the slewing bearing joints and make sure that the fixed bolts are tightened firmly. Oil leaks in the turntable will result in abnormal swing operations. 
Next, inspection methods for crawler and wheel are as follows. Check if the crawler's track shoes and bolts are secured firmly and check for any damages to the roller, deformations to the wheel and firmly securing of the bolts. Missing track shoes may result in weakening the ground contact pressure and may result in rollovers. Next, the inspection method for counterweights are as follows. Counterweights are installed within the upper portion of the excavator. Check for any deformations to check for joints of counterweights, any deformation to structure, and any additional weights that are added. Adding extra counterweight may result in malfunctions and also voids insurance claims in case of an accident. Next, the inspection method for the bucket is as follows. Make sure that the bucket meets regulations and that the bucket's connection is secured using a safety pin. Not using the bucket coupler safety pin may result in the bucket falling during operation. Next, inspection method for various lights are as follows. The operator should activate the headlight, tail lamp, turn signal, and emergency signal while the inspector checks their proper operation outside. Not turning on necessary lights during operation may result in unsafe operations. Lastly, inspection methods for other safety equipment are as follows. When getting on the excavator, the operator must use the entry steps. The anti-slip surface must be intact and safety bars must be secured firmly. Not installing safety bars may result in workers getting stuck. Here are safety management points. To operate the excavator safely, a banksman must be positioned to control vehicle movement and work area, and other workers must be prohibited from approaching the work area. Lifting work using the bucket is prohibited. And using a bucket that exceeds regulated capacity is also prohibited. The bucket and arm cylinders should be extended sufficiently when moving. You must avoid driving backwards. And riding on the bucket is prohibited. When working with breakers, a safety net should be installed on the cabin glass. When the ignition is turned off, the safety lever should be activated and the ignition key should be kept separately. Listed above, basic safety regulations must be followed at all times. On site, the supervisor must review safety before hand through work plans and other documents before the excavator is brought into the site. The supervisor must also prevent possible accidents by inspecting it correctly before and during operation. This has been the inspection method using standard safety inspection checklist for excavators and key safety management points. Thank you.